Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So in this video, we continue on chapter 8, main memory. The previous one, we already learned about the fragmentation. We learned about the address binding. And a little bit background regarding the main memory. So in this video, we continue for the segmentation and the paging. Okay, this one is just recap from the previous video we learned about the backgrounds of the main memory popping process contiguous memory allocation so in this memory we'll talk about the segmentation and paging okay so the first part try to list three allocation algorithm that available so the allocation algorithm that available is the first feed best feed and was fit algorithm next we continue with the segmentation so memory management scheme that support user views of the memory so when we talk about memory you can just assume and imagine that it is in a block and it has the partition so a program is a collection of segments and a segment is a logical unit such as we have the main program the procedure the functions method object local variable global variable common block stack symbol table array so when we talk about the segmentation you should imagine regarding what you have learned in the programming part okay main program we have procedure we have function we have method object model uh, variable and so on so this one is the user's views of a program so in a program we have the subroutine we have stack we have simple we have main program we have the uh, logical address and all of this part uh, being stored at the logical address So the next part is about the logical view of segmentation so this one is your uh, is the computer physical memory space I, I i already mentioned before when we talk about the memory you can imagine this kind of block so in a block is referred to the memory so in memory we have several parts so from this user space, it will store to the memory. So it will match one, four, two, and three. So we have the logical address, and then we map the logical address to the physical address in the main memory. So segment take uh, segmentation architectures. The segmentation architecture we have the logical address that consists of two tuples so in that part we have the segment numbers yeah the segment numbers and the offset the so segment table is referred to the maps two dimensional uh, physical address and each table entry has the base and the limits the so base contains the starting starting physical address where the segment reside in the memory and the limit specify the length of the segment so you can recall back for the first uh, part of the memory we have about base and limit so it's just like a uh, lower limit and the upper limit In the next part is segment table based register so stbr so point to the segment table location in memory and segment table length register stlr this one indicate the numbers of segment used by a program so segment numbers s is legal if 
as less than st lr so the segment numbers must be lesser compared to the segment table length register okay the next part is about the protections so with each entry in a segment table associated with the validation bits equal to zero a segment and then read write execute free village so protections bits associated with segments in code sharing occurs at the segment level since the segments vary in length means we have a different type of length based on the base and the limit so memory allocation is a dynamic storage allocation problem and a segmentation example is shown in the following diagram okay this one okay it's quite similar like the previous point we have from the cpu okay and then it give you the segment s and d and then it will check either it is uh, less or not between the limit in the base okay and then this one is segment table uh, it will store the limit and the base so it will check here if yes then it will uh, pro add with the base and then goes to the physical memory otherwise means that the addressing error in that uh, logical part so quite similar like the previous one uh, that's all for the segmentation so the next part is about the paging so in a paging uh, we refer to the physical address space of a process that can be non-contiguous and process is allocated in a physical memory whenever the letter is available so this part avoid the external fragmentation the previous video we already learned what is the internal and external fragmentations and then avoid problem of varying size memory chunk so uh, and then uh, divide the physical memory into the fixed size block that we call as the frame so size is power of 2 so between 512 bytes and 16 megabytes so the size must be power of 2 4 8 2 and so on and then divide the logical memory into block of the same size that we call as the pages and then keep track of all three frames and to run a program of n size pages we need to find n free frames and load the programs means that let's say a program have size of one so we need to find the free space of one yeah, one megabyte for example and yeah, maybe we use two two megabyte for example so two find two free space for a friend and then load the program into the memory and then set up a page table to translate the logical from the logical to the physical okay and then baking store likewise split into the pages however in this part we can still have the uh, internal fragmentation issues because we have the fixed size of blocks that we call as a frame so address translation uh, scheme so address generated by the cpu is divided into a p the page number and page offset which is referred to d so page number page number here is used as an index into the page table so in the page table is contain the base address of each page in the physical memory because we want to translate from this address logical address goes to the physical address and then in the page offset it will combine the base address to define the physical address that is sent to the memory unit so basically we have this file p and d so how to get a p from m minus n and how to get a, a page offset is based on n as so if you're given logical address space 2 power of m 
n which is is 2 power of n so logical address p is 2 power of n m and p size is 2 power of n here okay this one is paging hardware you can refer to this diagram so we have the cpu here and then we have the physical memory here and then we have the page table here so page table content of the page and the offset so cpu give the logical address and then uh, this part we have the page table okay contain the frame and the offset and then based on this part it will transfer to the physical memory in uh, in the computer main memory okay the example here paging model of logical and physical memory so this one is the logical memory okay you, you can compare with this one okay, we have the logical memory this part come from the cpu and we, it will generate the page table and we have here the physical memory of the computer and then this one is the frame number okay frame number so here is page zero the page zero goes to page table zero this one is frame number one so number one it will store at here page zero and next we have page one here so page one we have one and then the frame number is four so it will store at here okay the next part we have page two page two refer to page two here the page table frame number is number three so it will store at the uh, frame number three and then this one we have page number three so number three here is page refer to frame seven so frame seven is yeah so this is how the process of mapping okay this one is another example so we assume that n equal to two m equal to 4 32 uh, byte memory and 4 byte pages so we have the logical memory here we have the page table and we have the physical memory this one is based on the frame okay. so we can say that this one is 0 1 2 3 okay. at 0 here it may with this page table 0 Okay. page table 0 and this page table uh, pull the value of frame y so 1 page is equal to 4 so y times 4 equal to 20 it will go to this one okay so here here 5 5 times 4 20 goes to this one the next part 0 1 so 1 refer to this one so the frame here is 6 6 times 4 equal to 24 so it goes to here and the next one is 2 2 refer to 1 1 times 4 equal to 4 so this value will store in this memory press and the next one is 3 3 here refer to frame number 2 2 times 4 equal to 8 so it will store here so this is example of paging in paging it will calculate the internal fragmentation let's say here we have page size page size 2048 bytes process size is 72766 bytes 35 pages plus 1086 bytes okay so internal fragmentation 2048 minus 1086 equal to 962 byte so this one is the page size okay this one 35 plus this one in order to calculate the frame internal fragmentation page size minus with the this one 
these numbers. Okay, the worst case fragmentation, one frame minus one byte. An average fragmentation, one uh, or half of the frame size. So, talk about the fragmentations, that means the small size is better compared to the bigger size. So, pitch uh, size growing over the time. So, salary support two pages. It a kilobyte and four megabytes. So process view and physical memory now is different, and by implementation, the process can only access its own memory. So this one for the allocation and after the allocation. So we have the page here, pages, multiple pages, zero, one, two, three. And here, this one is before, this one is the physical part. Okay, Af after the process, okay, free frame size. So we have a pitch table here. So 0, 14, so 32, which is 0. Okay, 1, 13, refer to 13. 2, 18, which 3. Okay, so that's all for chapter main memory. So overall, you already know about the swapping, the contiguous in fragmentation, external, internal, address binding. And then you also know about the segmentation in paging. So the next part, we may go for another demonstration. And the next chapter, which refer to the visual memory. So that's all. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.